How's it going everyone? Into today's video we're going to be looking at how we package our snakes up when I'm sending them out. When someone has brought a snake off me, you guys know I use walkers. I get asked a lot of questions, how do I package my snake regarding the shipment, also what heat packs I use and how I pack my snake so it's safe and sound. So let's get into today's video, hope you're all well, sit back, grab a drink, let's go. Quite a few questions round about this time of year about sending snakes out via walkers. Now there's plenty of reptile couriers out there guys that you can use if you want to use. There's Ridgeway, there's walkers, there's Reptasia, there's reptile hunters. There's quite a few out there that you can use among others that I haven't mentioned. However, I like to use walkers and the reason why I use walkers is because they pick up every Wednesday and deliver the next day which is on the Thursday so for me you know if I've got someone who I've got to send a snake out to and I've missed you know because normal reptile couriers sort of do it on a monthly basis if I've missed that shut off date then I can obviously ship it out the next week I've been using walkers now for the last two years to send animals out and I've only had one issue and this is me putting my cards on the table I've only had one issue and that was down to me my fault I put two heat packs in the um, in the tub and both of them had an issue so as in both the heat heat packs had an issue and it created an issue with the animal so that was my fault, it wasn't the, the courier, as in it wasn't Walker's fault, it was my fault, I take full responsibility. The, one, the other thing I like about Walkers is when I send an animal out, they are taking this package from A to B. It's not going back to a facility or a shop, it's not gonna be on their van any longer than 24 hours. And most of the time they'll pick up from me, they'll go back to the depot and the uh, package goes in a warm room, which they have for the animals. Uh, where the animal is kept at a reasonable temperature as in the room and then it's distributed the next day uh, following the driver. When I send out the animals I use a 10 litre poly box like this along with a sleeved cardboard exterior. I normally get these from eBay guys. Uh, you can shop around. I, I, I don't have one particular supplier of this product. I just get it where I can. Uh, the whole packaging um, to send an animal out probably costs me in the region of three to five pound, which for me, you know, using the right products is key because at the end of the day, we don't want to skimp on products because we want the animal to get there and arrive there safely and healthy. So to me, spending money on packaging is important and it's what I like to do. So. 10 litre poly box is for me big enough for one to four hatchlings or one sort of adult snake up to round about two, two and a half kilos, okay? And again, what you've got to remember guys, they're only being transported from A to B and it's within 24 hour period. Sometimes uh, a breeder sent me a snake via walkers and it's got to me within four hours. There is multiple ways of doing things guys, like I say, this is the way I do it. So, we've got our 10 litre poly box, okay? I tend to use a snake bag. I used to use the, um, the, the plastic tubs and containers to go inside, but I actually find using a snake bag is more uh, safer, secure in my eyes, anyway. My bags are custom made from Snake Bags UK. If you're not following them on Instagram, get over there and follow them on Instagram. They are custom made bags, which I absolutely love. And you, they, no snakes have ever got out of this type of bag, so I'm really pleased. The reason why I use black as well is, again, it's my custom stuff, but I like it because it keeps it nice and dark for the snake as well. So using a bag for me is the right way to go about it. In my eyes. For me one of the most important parts of the packing process is the heat pack and the guys over at 
Heat Packs UK, Daniel and the team are absolutely amazing. Customer service, they're obviously in the UK. I had an issue with the Heat Pack and those guys bent over backwards for me. I strongly, strongly recommend if you guys are after any Heat Packs for whatever reasons, whether you're just transporting a snake in your car from your friend's house to your house or whatever, get these in stock. It's always better to have them in stock and not need them and need them and not have them. Just go and grab yourself, whether it be five or 10 heat packs, get them in stock just so you've got them just in case. Now, I like to use the 72 hour heat packs because I find these are a lot more stable. And again, 72 hours, you know, it gives us enough time, uh, a window, let's say, to get the animals from A to B. Now, again, as you can see, these can be used for multiple things, so not just reptiles. Again, they do different sizes, different temperatures, uh, different temperature range, different um, hours, but these, for me, the 72 hour one, absolutely nails it on the head. So get some of these in stock, guys. Like I said, just grab yourself a few, it's better to have them and not need them and need them and not have them, that sort of thing. So I'm gonna show you how we prep this and get it ready, okay? The other thing I use is paper. You guys know unprinted takeaway paper or chip shop paper, um, I've always used that, whether it was for bedding back in the day, um, but I found a fantastic purpose and I'm gonna show you how we do it. So first of all, let's get into the heat pack. Now, there are instructions on the back uh, which tells you and shows you how to operate the heat pack. I'm going to show you how I do it and again I find this works for me. Now before your snake is collected I would advise you take your heat pack out and you just let it get some air to it because these are activated via the air uh, and I'm going to show you how I uh, wrap this and get it ready for the next stage. We're going to be using this beautiful Pastel Enchi Hyo D Ivory Hep Hypo Male for our demonstration purposes, bless him. He's gonna be a little dude we're gonna pack up in the bag and we're gonna box it all up. Again, show you guys how we do it. So absolutely love this guy, absolutely beautiful. So we will obviously put him in our snake bag. Um, again, Snake Bags UK can do various different sizes so make sure you contact them for your particular size of bag that you want. Right, so we're gonna just tie up our little guy. The purpose of this video is just to show you how I get things packaged. So snake bags, I basically do one like that, then we fold that over and do a simple shoelace bow, as I call them, like so. Okay. No snake is gonna get out of that whatsoever, so that's how I do that. Now for the heat packs, what I'm gonna do, we're gonna take some paper or tissue, depends on what you wanna do. Uh, I'm gonna use tissue for the purpose of this video. I'm gonna use some blitz roll, okay? And then all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna loosely just wrap the heat pack up, like so, just like that. So before we put anything in there, we obviously make sure we put some air holes in the poly box. I tend to do four with a pair of scissors, like so. Obviously, if this was in the cardboard box, you'd be piercing the cardboard box as well. So what you don't wanna do is pierce this and then forget to pierce the cardboard box. Make sure the polystyrene box, once you've built the sleeve carb, the cardboard sleeve, you put your poly box in, then I tend to do the air holes, okay? So we've got four air holes like so. We've got the air holes in uh, and now we're going to start to package the box. Now, I tend to open this probably about an hour before I package the box, okay? Just so it lets the air get to it and it starts to activate it. You haven't got to shake these. There's no sort of thing you've got to activate. It's just, it, as soon as the, the air hits it, it starts to create its heat. So, uh, what I tend to do, I tend to put that up against the wall like so of the box, okay? Then what I'll do, 
I'll use my screwed up pieces of paper. Like so. So that'll help pin the, the heat pack to the back there where we can obviously get some airflow and where I'm gonna put the snake is I'm gonna put the snake in the middle. Obviously, if you've got multiple animals, you're gonna to wanna to move it around, all that sort of stuff. Um, you know, put it in the position that you feel comfortable with. Again, guys, you have to kind of use your common sense on this. The snake has still gotta have some degree of warmth, but it will also need to thermoregulate, which means it's also gonna to need to get some, some cool it's gonna to get to, it needs some, some cool air or some cool siding. So it needs a warm end and a cool end, basically. Once we've done that, we're gonna package the snake up now a little bit tighter. So we get some more paper. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna put one down the side here. Okay, and one over here. Now, the snake has still got somewhere cool uh, somewhere cool to go which is over this end but it's also got the warmth from this end okay so I've used probably about sh uh, six sheets of paper there again it's just going to help hold the animal in place again not being funny but it's not going to move very far uh, by the movement and we've still got some good airflow coming through for the heat pack the next stage I'm going to do another piece of paper Like so, and fold it up. Like so, and that's gonna go directly on top. Okay, that's it. That's all I do. The paperwork, all the stickers will go on top for the animal. And then all I'm gonna do is put the lid on like so and obviously close up the cardboard sleeve, and that's good to go. Obviously, I will tape it down, but pretty much that's how I do it. It's very easy, very simple. Once you've done it a few times, I know everyone panics about the snakes being delivered and they're being too cold. Trust me, it's better that a snake is too cold than too warm, okay? It, it, you know, it's a cold-blooded animal. We can help it by uh, warming it up slowly if it gets to the other end and it's too cold but again I'd rather the animal get there too cold because it sort of puts it into almost like a sleep state which helps with the stress so it doesn't stress it out so much so much what I've found over the years is when a snake is too warm or it's exposed to heat or too much heat it stresses it out even more so if you can not let it get too warm it's, it's better that way. So if a snake turns up and it's cold, guys, don't panic, it's not the end of the world. It's probably a lot healthier for the snake to turn up too cold. Now again, we don't want it frozen, hence why, you know, we, we don't want it frozen. But I have seen snakes that have been, you know, f virtually frozen and they've come back and they've been healthy with no problems whatsoever. This is how I do it guys. This is how I package my animals up for walkers if someone purchases an animal from me and I send it out like, to another breeder. The heat packs are fantastic. I cannot rate Heat Packs UK enough for their support, their help. Everything that they do as a company is, is absolutely awesome. And again, Snake Bags UK, really, really quality material bags. Again, custom made, which just gives you that extra bit, what should we say, class? A little bit of extra class, a little bit of extra care, a little bit of extra thought that's gone into your packaging. Because trust me, I've had snakes from, you know, I've spent some, some good money on some snakes from, from well-known breeders and they've just turned up in a white bag, written my name on it, you know? And that's fine, because I'm not buying the bag, I'm buying the snake. But it's little things like that, for me, I just look at, and it's just that, that nice little touch. So definitely, tr you know, if you can, get yourself some custom-made snake bags, because it really will work in your favor. I hope this has helped, guys. I hope it's answered some questions. Obviously, it's not gonna answer everything, uh, if you have any questions about walkers, please get over to the walkers website, go and have a look. I'll try and put a link to their website in the description box below. I'll certainly put a link 
to Heat Packs UK in the description box below, and I'll certainly put a link for Snake Bags UK in the description box below. But for now, guys, hope you're all well. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I hope it answered some questions, and please, please, please take care of yourself. Make sure you're all good, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I hit record a job, you can't ignore it. I'm transforming.